I go like this, all alternate picking. And I start in the E position. So I start on the 12th fret, and there's a reason for that. When you start low, I usually work downward to that, not when I'm warming up for these speed exercises like this, because this is a very comfortable place to play on the fretboard. Now what I do is I combine the blue scale and the Dorian mode, and I'm going to play this uh, slow. It starts off on the 12th fret, second string with your first finger, and I all alternate picking, and I go. Now, this exercise is good for many reasons. One, it's alternate picking. So you are doing specifically one technique, which is the way I like to teach technique. Then you can combine those when you play music. This is an exercise. It is designed to help you be faster. But what do I do? I play up. I call it backtracking, where you go up, you go down, you shift positions down, then go back up, then do an open grouping. So you're, you're using four frets and five frets. Now the reason this is so good, let's say you have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Stop. That's what it sounds like that. Then I might go like this. I might, then after that I might go. Now, why am I doing this? When you start at a tempo, even 185, you're getting pretty quick. I mean, when you think of orchestral music, presto, you know, the fastest one, it's just presto. It means you're hauling butt, bro. Usually, it's 204, 208, you know. So, you know, when you get up past 220 and 240, 250, really, it becomes diminishing returns because music is not really heard very well after that, and, and composers don't write that fast. You know, it's not really, you know, even Flight of the Bumblebee, it's not played that, you know, so over the top where you can't hear the notes because, um, and, you know, really, if you can play 220, 230 BPM, 16th notes, you can pretty much play virtually anything. And, and so, you know, there's very few licks you won't be able to play. But so what I do, when I play this, I go... And like... And I like to do a short exercise because when you get in the faster... So you do these short bursts, and especially when you go like 185, then you click it up to 190. See, it gives your hand a break. You can you can play it and stop. Let your hand rest for a second. Then you go back and you do it again, and you can increase the tempo. I usually do by five dpm. I go 185, 190, 195, 200, 205, 210. Then I then I jump by tens, 210, 220, 230. And I really end it, sometimes I'll play 240, 230. That's as fast as I need to go. I mean, when you think of the Nitro song Freight Train, that was 200 BPM. And it still sounds fast, really fast. And so, but it's a good discipline to practice these short riffs. Give yourself a break, play it again. And see, when you play it in tempo, or they say in music, ah, tempo, literally, you know, the tempo that uh, of this. Like you've been hearing me play a lot. Today. Look at my hand position. Even with a clean stuff. So, you know, I do this with a clean sound too sometimes. Yeah. 